All right, just about 611, and it is a weather alert day here at News 2. Storm Team 2 uh, meteorologist Josh Marthers joining us now. And Josh, we're all under a tornado watch, and the main event is on its way. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's right on target here as far as the uh, as far as the timing and all of this is concerned. The tornado watch in place in advance of the line of thunderstorms, meaning severe thunderstorms and tornadoes are possible across the low country through the midday hours. That does include every county in our viewing area. And what we're watching to the west right now is that line of strong to severe thunderstorms approaching with numerous severe thunderstorm warnings along the line stretching from Virginia all the way way to the Florida coast and now we're starting to see an increasing number of tornado warnings along this line uh, with tornado warnings now in place from just south of Columbia stretching down all the way to Hampton County and Allendale County with signatures here on the radar in some of these suggesting that tornadoes may be on the ground and that's why we're watching this as it moves east toward the low country this morning. Storm Team 2 Chief Meteorologist Rob Fowler is here as well. He's on social media at this point. We're here on the air, but when the severe weather outbreak begins to unfold, we will both be on the air with you through the duration of the event. The high resolution forecast model is here at I-95 by 7 a.m. moving through the area between 8 and 10 and you can see it's off the coast between 10 and 12. So this is what we're looking at today with our threats. Our greatest impacts will be through midday and really focusing in on that 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. window with all modes of severe weather possible as this moves through. Wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour with an enhanced risk for wind damage. There's also an elevated threat for large hail. We could have hailstones up to one inch in diameter with this and there is an enhanced risk of tornadoes, and some of these could be strong. This is very unusual for us to have enhanced levels like this this time of morning, but this is a very nasty storm system uh, that is capable of producing severe weather. Now, with that being said, I do want to level it out for you and let you know. The general risk of you seeing severe weather damage at your home at any given point in any severe weather situation is fairly low. Remember, severe weather happens in isolated pockets. What this means when we say there's an enhanced risk for severe weather, that means that the way the atmosphere is set up today is unusually, unusually more capable of producing severe weather than what we would typically see. That's what it means. So if you go under a warning today, you need to take that warning seriously because it means that there is a higher than usual threat of that particular type of severe weather occurring. Even if you go under a severe thunderstorm warning this morning, you want to move to the lowest level of your home away from doors and windows because wind gusts of 70, perhaps 80 miles per hour can produce just as much wind damage as a small or weak tornado. So weather alert day in place today as we look ahead, another rain chance coming out as we head toward Wednesday, then we'll clear out Thursday and Friday. Uh, once again, tornado watch is in place through midday today as the potential exists for a localized severe weather outbreak here in the low country later this morning between 7 a.m. and 10 o'clock. I'll be back in less than 10 with another update. We're going to keep our 